Okay, day three of DIY truck camper built. So I am uh, going to show you a few um, frame design that uh, I look at today for uh, aerodynamics to get better fuel uh, efficiencies as well as the weight distributions of the frames. Um, and I'll show you the pictures in a moment. And the second thing, uh, probably, well, today I did a little bit of also at uh, free software that I can use to draw the truck camper. Um, so I can take measurements. Um, with the measurements, I can uh, calculate the weight of the frames, especially for steel and, or 8020 aluminum uh, frame or even the plywood, just to compare. Um, and I use the different materials, what kind of weight I'm going to be getting. And um, also I look at the wall, you know, it's also, it, it, the drawing will help me uh, measure the wall panels, uh, the weights and the price as well. So it's really uh, important to be able to draw this truck camper on the paper or on uh, website or in my PC so this way or laptop so this way I can uh, calculate not only the measurements uh, to get the materials to buy from Home Depot or online but also be able to uh, calculate the cost so um, and then you know probably tomorrow or the day after tomorrow I'll be uh, sourcing the tools to buy or borrow from my friends okay okay this is uh a video was done by Cave Bendit six years ago. It's probably the closest uh, frame done by welding the steel frame uh, together um, that I can uh, mimic. And uh, there, you can see there's a few things uh, we can improve um, on his build. This uh, was built in 2014. Uh, he used uh, three quarters inch of plywood for the floor. Um, and uh, he used half an inch uh, plywood for the bed. On so from this uh, picture, you can see the ideal one is a complete arc, just like the bottom one. The front facing is a com complete arc that uh, gives you this uh, complete arc to give you the best dyna aerodynamics. Uh, the second best is the one, the picture on top, which is built by the aluminum frame. And you can see it has, if you count from the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six horizontal beams to mimic uh, an arc. So this is really the second best, you know. And um, the previous one we look at, uh, the, the one that's built by the steel frame, that was a three horizontal beams meaning one on the top and one at the bottom and one in the middle going across the front face of the camper. So, um, you know, you need to have at least um, six of them because if you just have the top uh, beam and the bottom beam, and that will give a very poor aerodynamics for the air to flow, um, okay, above the, the, the truck. The other thing to point out is this um, horizontal line that I drew at the top picture here where this um, being at the bottom of the bed is not extended all the way to the back because uh, this aluminum camper has a big window um, behind the bed. Uh, it's sure going to get a lot of light and uh, very nice looking uh, window. But, um, you know, so it has, if you notice, there, the, he actually used the two aluminum uh, beans at the bottom of this bed. And I'm sure it's the same thing. Uh, there are two of them, a horizontal beam going across uh, to try to uh, support the bed over the uh, cabin. And you can see, same thing with the bottom picture here. It's not extended. A, uh, all the way to the back um, to give more support of it but it has um, a lot of um, you know one two three four five so five um, 
horizontal beams uh, underneath the bed. So you can see um, at the bottom picture here. So it does give some support uh, to this bed, uh, but it, it's the weight may maybe this this bottom uh, frame uh, the weight is. I'm not sure. I think it's, it may it may topple over to the front when two people uh, go onto the truck bed to sleep on top of it. Okay, so probably want to minimize the frames used in this uh, bed area, so not just the bottom but also the, the the front face area as well as the seating area. Okay, now let's take a look of this uh, frame uh, computer aided design drawing here. From the top, you can see um, there are three horizontal beams for uh, better aerodynamics in the front. Okay, one on the top, one at the bottom, and one in the middle going across. So three horizontal beams for better better aerodynamics. And uh, this uh, was designed to use uh, the two by three wood for the brown color beams and for the blue color it's going to be based on the two by two two inches by two inches uh, wood so um, you can see this bill is um, good because you can see the red line that I drew uh, above my bill will be two inches by one inch steel tube this uh, horizontal uh, beam or the uh, uh, to support the bottom of the bed over the cabin, uh, which is colored by in the in, in brown. That means it's extended from the beginning of this bed to the end of the truck camper on both sides. So that gives a lot of strength to pull this cab over the cabin um, to, to the back. So it can has a better chance to be a freestanding truck camper. Um, now, uh, I, I would get rid of the vertical bar on the front face, the two blue color vertical bar, just to reduce the weight. I mean, the reason uh, this design has it, I think it's because it's built by wood, so it needs those two uh, support uh, vertical bars. But because uh, my bill is going to be a steel tube, uh, so it's going to be very strong. I don't need those two vertical built. So this way I can reduce the weight in the front um, bed over the cabin area. Um, the other thing is the two back, the back door section that uh, you can see on the right hand side, the blue line is actually hanging, um, hanging. Um, so what I'm going to, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that. Um, to, I'm going to have a, a, a two vertical uh, steel frame uh, tube coming down from the ceiling to the to the bottom of the truck to the truck bed and um, this this and then this this will be the support for the door uh, the back door of the camper so this gives um, um, much more strong support to hang the door onto okay so th those are the improvements I can think of um, when looking at this built or this drawing this is the only drawing um, that I can find over the internet that gives me the measurements. There are a couple of uh, things that we can do to improve this drawing. The number one is this uh, A over B ratio to give the uh, better dynamics. And um, so I, I'm not sure what is the correct A over B ratio. I mean, according to this uh, drawing here, it is using uh, a is on a thir you know let's use 30 inches for the for the max and then B is 55 inches so it's almost a one to two for a over B um, but um, the other thing is it does uh, tilt to the back um, uh, to the t uh, towards the top so it gives a better aerodynamics versus just uh, going straight up vertical um, so that angle uh, give some uh, better airflow. The other thing that this uh, drawing can be improved is instead of using just you know the bottom, um, this is the bottom 
uh, horizontal beam and the top horizontal beam uh, get another beam going across uh, horizontal so this way it's a three face uh, instead of two faces uh, I'm not sure from the look uh, it may be a three faces it's just this the middle beam and the bottom beam are very closely uh, together the other thing that can be extended it's the same thing which is this uh, the bottom of this bed the horizontal beam um, should probably uh, be extended all the way to the back of the camper on both sides right now it's stop at the uh, the the end of the cabin uh, the, the truck or cabins um, so it, it it doesn't give the strength because it's only the top it looks like it's pulling the bed uh, only from the from only the top beam uh, which is going from the beginning of the bed to in the front to the end of the cab uh, camper um, so that one beam to pull this uh, bed uh, may not be enough so this may not be a you know freestanding it may top over when two people climb up above the truck bed to try to sleep um, like I said I'm looking for a freestanding design so this is what I uh, uh, think the other thing is, you know, look at uh, what I wrote on the top of this uh, drawing. Best to eliminate the three cross tubes. One above, which is above the bed. Um, you can see that cross uh, beam. Um, and two uh, below, which is uh, actually there are three of them, right? Uh, three uh, supporting the bottom of the bed. Um, I would if I can get away with just um, one in the middle beam that's what I'll do because you really don't need that many tubes when it's steel uh, frame when it's built by a steel frame it's very strong for the spit steel you know because you really want to reduce the weight in the front cabin um, and uh, you know I it's uh, if, if any, I would move the front uh, seating uh, cross uh, steel tube uh, to the second from the back to give more support uh, in the back in the in the back of the ceiling. Um, so this way, if I want to mount something, I can, you know, uh, put the weight in the back uh, instead of the front. But but again, uh, it's, if I don't hang anything, that doesn't matter over the seating I mean the most I would do is probably just mount a solar panel so and solar panel is not that um, heavy anyway so there you have it